Hi, I'm Cheryl Arias Wicker, and you're watching Christian Movie Connect. Today I have an interview with producer, director, Arthur Anderson, who has a string of credits from Mission Impossible 2 and 3, Face Off, and Star Trek. Well, Arthur, thank you so much for being with us. Now, I know a lot of the people that are watching probably would want to know how you got started in the business. Well, I actually started off as a stand-up comedian back in college in Columbia, South Carolina. And uh, my roommate, uh, who actually lived next door to me, we later became roommates, uh, worked at radio stations. And we used to go record commercials when they went off the air at midnight. Uh, and then they, they became so popular, we were doing it for nightclubs, that advertising agencies asked us then to start doing it for their other clients. So we were doing everything from concrete, cars, to condominiums, to chicken food chains that were trying to compete with uh, Colonel Sanders. And... Um, out of that, uh, a film came into my hometown, and I cast a bunch of my uh, day players in the film. And then the second week into the film, both assistant directors got sick, and they said, wow, who can run a film set? I raised my hand. <laughs> so my second week in the business, uh, I was running a film set. Uh, went to New York, uh, worked with uh, great uh, ADs and directors there with uh, Billy Freak and Paul Mazursky. Uh, came out to Hollywood on uh, Urban Cowboy as a production assistant. Um, worked my way through the DGA, into the DGA for a second AD, first AD, started writing and directing half hour episodic, uh, hooked up with John Woo in 1996 on Face Off, and been working with him ever since. And uh, my job titles increased as I worked with him, I became his action writer. We'd tear the scripts apart, recreate all the action with the stunt coordinator, develop that. Um, then sometimes I'd direct second units, so, and then I was AD, so I'd be involved from writing the script to scheduling it, to conceptualizing it, and the storyboarding it, and then have to go on the set and actually make it happen. So it was a pretty big challenge, but John's a, a, a great guy to work with. He was a, a good teacher. Um, and then when I'm not working with John, I uh, assistant direct, second unit direct, and direct additional scenes on television shows. So I uh, had an, a really interesting, uh, diverse career. <laughs> no more stand-up comedy? Uh, no more stand-up comedy. I still write comedy. I'm actually... Um, working with a bunch of guys to find financing for micro budget comedy or rom com uh, right now. Uh, that's it's uh, it's a crossover picture uh, that will appeal to both the faith and the secular market. Well, everybody likes to laugh, whether you know you're a Christian or not a Christian. Laughter uh, transcends all languages, you know, because you don't have to understand the language. Somebody's laughing to know it's funny. That's right. Well, you know, um, because you do have such a diverse um, background, because I, I do as well, and, and I run across a lot of people that do, and sometimes you, you, you know of some people and they, they know exactly what they want to do and they, they head in that path and they keep going, and, and then there's other people that do a lot of different things. Do you think that there's value in, in being kind of multifaceted like that in the, in the industry? No, you know, it really is because here's the thing is you never know what God's plan is for you. And he only gives you enough light to see that next stepping stone each day. And my experience has been he'll open a door he wants you to go through if that's the direction he wants you to go through. If there's people he wants you to affect their lives in a positive way. So you may be working on a project that may have nothing to do with you as a filmmaker, but may have everything to do with someone who needs to be ministered to. You know, because a film crew is like your family. You see them for more hours a day than you see anyone else. So people are going through divorces. Um, they're having major illnesses. And when those people need help, you know, sometimes God puts you in a position where you can be this, put a strong arm around somebody and minister to them and to help them say, hey, you know, uh, here's how I've dealt with this. And, you know, you're not alone, you know, because that's the, the biggest thing. But the times we're going through with the big unemployment, bad weather, tornadoes, ripping people's home up, you know, your life being destroyed overnight. Um, God looks for people to put in people's path when they need help, you know, and we're in a time now where even more and more people need help. And that's why we're here. We're here to be ministers and to help spread the word that, you know, there is a force out there greater than us that is a helpmate. And God gave us the Holy Spirit through his son to come down to help us, you know. So that, as a Christian, that's your mission in life. You're here to help people. And that's what I always look at. I always look at my film crew as my family, and I have my family too. So, uh, but you know, we're, we're there to be ambassadors and to be, you know, uh, helpful to people. Yeah. Well, as a Christian in the industry, 
have how have you seen yourself have an impact on the people that you've worked with? Listen, you lead by example, and when there's a lot of chaos going on and you're the one calm presence in the middle of it all, people notice that and they come over and they ask you, you know, well, all this chaos, you know, because it's doing major action films is very complicated and it can be very dangerous. Um, so when you're in a situation like that and there's a lot of chaos going on and, you know, you, you're an example to people by not yelling and screaming at them. You encourage people. You bring people's talents out to their highest potential by trusting them to do their job, you know. And so people notice it's, it's all about your style of leadership. So if you encourage people, you're there for them, uh, you know, encourage them to do their best, people notice that. And then they come and ask you, well, you know, how can you be so calm under these circumstances? And the studio's yelling and screaming at you. And there's, you know, they want you know they want you to get this done in this amount of time for this this amount of money. You just tell them, well, I work for a higher a higher executive producer than the guy who runs the studio, okay? And uh, he gives me the wisdom and the knowledge to do it. And they they ask about you know how you're like that, and what your how your walk, what got you to that point, and then you're able to share your testimony. Well, tell me how you feel about some of the Christian films that are being made and, and maybe just some input that you might mm -hmm. give to Christian filmmakers. Well, here's the thing. I mean, there's different markets you make film for. So there's specific, uh, say like there's you're going to make a Christian film with a, a faith message. Uh, there's a market for that. There are films that cross over that appeal, that have a good moral story, but appeal to a faith audience and a secular audience. And those are the kind of films I'm working towards now. I'm uh, developing a romantic comedy now because everybody likes to laugh, right? And then, you know, so, so. Uh, they love romance. <laughs> yeah, and, and so it all starts as a script. Uh -huh. Whether you're, whatever market you're appealing to, it's a faith market, it's a secular market, it's all about the story. So if you have a good story, you get the equipment and the, and the actors to tell it well, you know, you, you find an audience for it. But it all starts the all important script. So the advice I would give to people, spend as much time as you need, get the story right first before anything, because that's a blueprint that you're going to build your structure off of. You don't have a good blueprint, your structure is going to fail. Well, do you want to talk any more about some of the projects that you're getting ready to work on? Um, there's one that, uh, that, well, I actually, I just finished a music video with my daughter, who's a Christian artist, that uh, with new technology, it was really fun shooting it because we shot with the Canon 7Ds. It's the first time I've done that. I've done some other minor shooting with 7Ds, but uh, doing this music video with the new 7Ds has really been interesting because they're such small cameras, you can take them anywhere. And uh, so I'm also developing a feature with the concept that I'm going to use those 7Ds to shoot the same way because instead of a crew for, say, a micro-budget feature where you might need 40 people to do stuff with the smaller equipment now, you could do it with, like, 20 people and a 10-ton truck and a tow generator instead of having to have a 40-footer. And, I mean, you know, it, you know, it just the slinky gets – the longer the slinky is, the longer it's going to take you to get stuff done. So with the micro-budget filmmaking, what I'm looking at doing – is getting the smaller slinky, less equipment, so you can shoot on location, you can move faster, so that you're spending your money not so much on the infrastructure of the equipment, but on good actors in good locations. And you know, and so you see more studios doing that. You see Lionsgate. I mean, they're they're I think they're slated to do ten micro budget films this year, two million dollars. And they say well, we don't even care who the actors are in it. We just know that we're not going. It's so what if we lose two million bucks and the and the the chances for financial success are so much greater because you put so much a smaller investment into it. And so it's much easier now in these terrible financial times to raise money for micro-budget features than it is because the investors have a much greater chance of getting their money back uh, because they're putting less money into it. Yeah, and you can still make a quality film for, for those types Listen, of budgets. With the technology out there now and the visual effects uh, seminar I hosted this morning, hearing those guys talk what you can do on your laptop now. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of money to put good visual effects in a movie now. That's right. Well, you spoke of the music video with your daughter. I just met her, and she's a very beautiful young lady. Uh, what? Tell me about her music. Uh, well, she's a Christian artist, and but she's doing crossover stuff that's going to appeal to both uh, the secular and the faith market now. And uh, she has this new single coming out, uh, Do You Know My Name? Now, it was born out of a lot of trials she went through. She had a lot of physical challenges and some questions she was, you know, was asking God as she was going through these challenges. So it's really a heartfelt uh, song put in a pop context. So it'll be, 
it's a it's a new type of faith music that's coming out that's going to appeal because of the music to the pop market but it has a faith uh, message to it so i was really excited it was it was really different because the way she'd originally written it was as a ballad several years ago and we did a uh, we did a small uh, test video for it and then uh, she hooked up with a good producer who said, here's what's happening now. I just want to encourage you to change this. And he, I mean, what they did with this song was amazing. So it's, uh, I'm excited. It'll probably be out in a couple of months or so. Okay, and her name, so we'll be looking for this. Michelle Marie Anderson. Michelle Marie Anderson. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Do you have anything else you want to add? Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, for those young filmmakers who are out there, I, listen, there's no better time than now and, and the, the technology is so inexpensive that if you have a good story and you know you get a couple of friends together I mean you know even at, uh, I've used the guys from Biola Media College before to come out and do projects to, to get together with your friends I mean you shoot it on these small HD cameras you put it on YouTube you know you there's, there's so many distribution avenues now to get your message out there I just encourage you get out there experiment because that's what it's all about you know, and all, all's you, all's going to cost you is your time, you know. That's right. Well, thank you so much. Hey, we so good to talk it. to you. Thanks for watching Christian Movie Connect. We'll see you next week.